Yo, what's up? Patrick from Gyne Cube. We've been talking about fabric. We've been using fabric. And now something just happened. Well, it didn't just happen. I'm just kind of late. But now not only can you use data flows Gen 2 to get data from on-premises, you can also use pipelines. And how do you get the data? With the gateway. You don't have to install anything else. If you're using Power BI already, if you're using data flows to connect on-prem, use the exact same gateway. And in this video, I'm going to show you. If you want to know more about this, I'll get the link to the documentation that discusses it. There's a pretty long list of most of the sources that's available. So, you know what I like to do? Instead of all this talking, let's do what? Let's head over to my laptop. So I have a workspace that I've created here, and I'm in, I have a little lake house. And I'm going to create a pipeline to get some data from my on-premise SQL server running locally on my machine. You can see I called it localhost, and I just ran select add that server name to get the SQL server name, because I'm going to need that. The first thing you want to do is before you even create your pipeline, you want to go out to manage your connections and gateways and we want to make sure that it can see my gateway. So you can see here, I have my gateway running. It's HBZ book. That's the name of my gateway. For all of you all that are new to Fabric and new to Power BI, you need a gateway to connect to on-premises data. And Adam promises that he's going to update all those gateway videos that he did and talk more about the gateway. I'm just showing you how to use the gateway. Adam will come back and do some phenomenal videos on the gateway. And so you need to make sure you download and install the gateway and get it running. If you don't, if you just click this little drop down, you'll see where it is the data gateway. So you click that and you can download it. Okay. So once you click here and you go to the manage connections and gateways page, what you want to do is make sure your gateway is registered. So I'm going to go on premises and you can see my HPZ book. Let's check the status of it. You can see that it's online and it's running. So once you do that, then you just need to create a connection. So I'm going to go over here to connections. I'm going to choose my cluster. I only have one running, but we're going to make sure we choose HBZ book. Make sure you have on-premises gateway connected. So it's going to check this, make sure it's there. And I'm going to call this my SQL server. Here's a list of all the options that we have. You know, you need to go check the doc in the description below and make sure that your source is supported with pipelines. I know for a fact that Mr. SQL server is supported. There it goes right here. And then you provide credentials. So got my server name here and then our database name. And then you choose how you want to authenticate depending on how you have your SQL server set up. You choose it. I'm going to just choose Windows authentication. And then we're going to just accept all the defaults for all these. We're going to click create and boom, my connection is created. Let's switch our persona to data factory. We're going to go back to my workspace and then we're going to choose a data pipeline. We're going to call this get on trim data. We're going to create and then I'm going to choose just some copy data. Let's use the copy assistant. Look for SQL server here in the search. There we go. Choose my SQL server there. Click next, we're going to look for an existing connection. There's my local SQL server. So you just search for the name of that connection that you made against that particular cluster and gets that gateway. So once I search for that name, I click next. It's going to go through the gateway. I could have clicked test connection, but once it establishes the connections, we're just going to choose a couple of tables from, I think we have, yeah, some sales. So we'll choose a salesperson and sales sales reason. Just a couple of, a couple of tables because we could, Wait for the preview. We don't need to wait for the preview. We'll click next and we're going to say, well, where do we want to land this data? We're going to choose Lake House. So I'm going to choose Lake House. You see, you can choose lots of different places. I'm going to put it into my get data Lake House. I'm going to click next and then we're going to tell it to load it to a new table. So you can see right here, it's giving it a name. We'll accept those names. Look at the column mappings. Make sure we're not bringing in any. I don't want to bring this particular column in. So you can see how I can easily do that. Choose sales reason. Go take a look at the same thing. So everything looks good here. I click next and click save and run. And in a few seconds, you can see it queuing up to run the process here, the pipeline ran through those two tables, you see the whole process complete. And now if I go back over to my lake house and I click refresh, I just see two new tables landed in my lake house. Boom. There they go. I'm pulling that data from an on-premises SQL server, a SQL server that's running locally on my machine. I've used the gateway to connect to that SQL server, use pipelines to connect to on-premises via the gateway, via that data source that I set up. And now it's laid in the data in my lake house. It's pretty nice. So now I have options to connect to my on-premises data. All right, what do you think? You got any questions, comments, you know what to do. Post it in the comments below. If you want to learn more about Fabric or Power BI, probably a video flying above my head. And as always, from Adam and myself, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.